Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the method that I use to generate heart rate variability plots, particularly power spectrum analyses from raw blood pressure data. Um, this is the data I'm going to look at, and my goal is to compare FAB and OVE diabetic mice, uh, specifically traces of pulse arterial pressure. So if I open up a um, ADI CHT file in the chart software, I can select analysis, and these different windows show me different uh, physiological recordings. If I double click in this region, it will maximize the view, and I can make both of these full screen, and I'll zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see what we're looking at. This is pulse arterial pressure, and this changes with respect to the heartbeat, all of these peaks of the heartbeat. And to generate uh, HRV data, we need to measure the distances between heartbeats. But we can do this easily with the HRV analysis software that you have to install separately from chart. If you have the analysis software, you have this HRV button at the top. So the way I generate HRV plots is I find a region of re relatively steady uh, pulse arterial pressure. This region looks fine. Um, I'll select. I can note my time normally shows up here. As I move, you can see it changing. I'll select from five minutes, and I'll click and drag, and then I'll go to ten minutes. So I've selected about five minutes of data. Now I can go to HRV and select Analysis Settings. Um, channel 1 is the channel I'm going to be calculating heart rate variability from, and I'll set Selection so it does just the selection. I don't want it to do the whole hour recording. Everything else looks good. I'll change the overlap to 3 fourths. That's important. And then R wave detection. These settings need to be adjusted every time you do heart rate calculations. This is the heart rate data. This is the pulse arterial pressure data. If, uh, as you can see, if I zoom out, it changes slightly over time. It goes up and down. This one isn't that dramatic, but it can be more dramatic. I can set the threshold at about 100. You can see as I move the line up and down, it draws blue vertical lines that represent heartbeats. Now, the best way to do these analysis are to take the derivative of it by clicking this box, zoom out, and set the threshold to zero. Zoom in here, zoom out here. And I'll try to zoom in on this line. Once we take the derivative, uh, we have to magnify the scale significantly to view the changes. So there's the derivative. It's a little bit fuzzy, and right now it's set to determine a heartbeat at every threshold, meaning every time this black line intersects the red line, it'll consider it as a heartbeat. That's not necessarily what we want. We want to select the maximum after the threshold, and it gives us error peaks because sometimes the pulse arterial pressure goes up and down in very small amounts. So we can take the 45 hertz low pass filter to smooth out the trace. And the result are uh, blue lines at every heartbeat. And it's centered at zero, so it, it should calculate heartbeat intervals accurately, despite the fact that the pulse arterial pressure can increase or decrease over time. Sometimes, if this graph is inverted, you need to select the invert button, and it will write the graph. But um, right now, you can tell this is not correct. We don't want it measuring peaks at this location. We want it measuring peaks at the greatest peak location. So we'll uninvert it and we'll make sure that the blue lines are where we want them. So these are all the correct settings. We will click OK and these settings are all correct. So if I hit OK, it'll go through and calculate the R to R intervals in this region when I click HRV and then calculate. So they've all been calculated and if I zoom in, and zoom in more, you can actually see it added a comment every time it detected a heartbeat. So now that it's been calculated, I can minimize window, close this. Now I go to HRV, HRV windows, and I want to show the Poincaré plot and the spectrum. These are the two I'm most interested in. The Poincaré plot um, shows every R to R interval plotted against the next R to R interval. And these are the error bound boxes. I'll put the blue box around the largest group of red and then move in closer. And like I said, um, 
this axis here represents the RR interval of a single heartbeat, and this represents the RR interval of the next heartbeat. And uh, data points such as these here are erroneous. They're double beats or beats that are calculated from an improper uh, blood arterial pressure trace, sort of like if you get two peaks very close together. So I'll select the region I need in blue, and then make sure that it's selected in red, and that will update the data that goes into the heart rate variability plot. This is the power spectrum. And if I decrease the scale, you can see we get a large peak around four. This represents the, the spectrum of the power spectrum analysis. So with this selected, I can hit Control C, which I'm going to do right now. This will copy the data into a text format. Then I can make a new text file, and I'll call it fbb1.txt, and then I can use Control V to paste the data here. This way it's a simple data file with um, hertz versus power, and I can graph it appropriately. I can graph this in Excel if I needed to. Preferably I'd graph it in SAT, but I can, uh, I can use this data how I need to in the future. Alternatively, um, you can turn off the spectrum bands and change it to a step function so it's a little bit more clear. And then I can hit Control C to copy this again, and I can paste it. I'll click Start and then Run and type MS Paint. And then when I open MS Paint, I can press Control V to paste it, and then I will save this image. Save it. And I will save it in C. Well, you can save it wherever you want, wherever you want it to be. Um, heart rate variability example. So I'll open up where I think I saved it, and there's your graph. Um, the X labels aren't perfect, and the chart software isn't designed to output publication quality graphs, but it, it works, and I would highly recommend taking your text file to sigma plot and graphing that appropriately. So that concludes my demonstration on how to generate power spectrum analysis graphs of pulse arterial pressure.